Wait guys, before you watch this video, please click the notification button and the subscribe button to help us get to 100K. We're so nearly there. What's going on people? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Transfer Show. Now, like we all know, Chelsea are back in the transfer market. The transfer ban is over and we've got plenty of positions that we need to improve on now. First place we're looking to improve on is striker and we're looking at a player called Fedor Chalov from CSK in Moscow. Brighton, Palace and Chelsea are all interested in signing the Russian international with Roman Abramovich particularly interested in him. Palace had a £14 million bid rejected in the summer. Chelsea also looking to sign him up as well. We're interested in trying to find a decent backup for Tammy Abraham. And his numbers are pretty decent. He's had 15 goals in 30 games last season. He's already got five goals so far this season. Like I said, we got pre we got a lot of decent competition in for him as well. But for me, I feel I look at I look at strikers and I think I just look back at the strikers that we had before and I think this just seems too rushed. I think if there's one position where I'd like to see us be a bit be a bit more patient and wait for the right player to become free, it would be strike. I think Fedor Chalov, the numbers are pretty decent, but he still comes across as unproven. And you look at the other clubs that are interested in him, Brighton and Palace, it just it just keeps digging at me. Those aren't the sort of clubs that you want to be competing with in the transfer market. If you're competing with them for players, it's like, what quality is this player really at? I think the fact that we're talking about players like Timo Werner months ago and now we're talking about Fedor Chalov, I'd rather us be a bit more patient in strike. See how he performs towards the end of the season, but I think... I'd rather see us be a bit more patient in transfer window, especially going for a striker. It might be a more cost-effective transfer, but it just seems really rushed. Fedor Ch Chalov to Chelsea could be apted, but I wouldn't fall for it. Our second transfer rumour that we're linked with today is Edison Cavani. Now, Chelsea and Manchester United are both interested in the Uruguayan international. He's a phenomenal goal scorer. His CV speaks for himself. Banging in goals for Napoli, banging in goals for PSG and banging in goals for the national team. And Chelsea and Manchester United are both looking to make a move for him when his contract expires. Now, this just screams panic buy. I can't even lie. This really screams panic buy. This screams the Higuain deal last season, the Shevchenko deal from 2007. This sounds like the Chalov deal as well. Now, Everton Cavani is a proven goal scorer, and I don't want to disrespect a legend, a, a guy who is a phenomenal goal scorer and one of the best strikers of the last decade. But the guy is on the wrong side of 30. We know exactly what happens with transfer like this. We've spent too many, we've had too many players come in over the age of 30 and they just look washed. They just look washed. I can't lie. They just look washed. And Edison Cavani to Chelsea just screams another one of them deals that we wanted back in 2013 and are now just coming a couple years too late. It's like the Falcao deal. It's like the Pato deal. It's like the Higuain deal. Patience, especially in strike, you need patience. I'd rather wait for the right striker to pop up I'd rather us not rush. Tammy Abraham's a great striker, but he needs the right competition. Otherwise, he's going to get complacent. Same way now. He needs the right competition behind him to bring the best out of him. Edson Cavani is experienced. He would learn a lot from him. But would he be able to compete with him for a starting position? No. So um, Edson Cavani, to me, I don't think is happening. A final piece of transfer news today. David Alaba to Chelsea. Now we have spoken so long about, le about the left-back position at Chelsea. In my opinion, the one place that we need to improve before we look at anywhere else is left-back. Left-back is too shaky. Emerson hasn't shown me the consistency to say that he can start their game in and game out. Marcus Alonso, he's not a left-back. He's a left-wing-back. Left-back is a position that we need, to, we need to find a replacement. We need to find a quality replacement. Now, we've been linked with some good names, Alex Tellez, Alex Grimaldo. But we've also been linked with David Alaba. Now, David Alaba is proven. Straight up, he's proven. And we're linked with him for £60 million. And I talk about Lampard wanting to give players opportunities, but I also talk about Lampard willing to spend cash when it comes to the right player in the right position. Now, David Alaba is the right position, a guy who shines defensively as well as offensively. But I hate to break hearts as well because I've been hyping him up for the last minute or two, but it's not happening. Bayern Munich head coach Hansel Flick insists David Alaba is not for sale after reports were linked to Chelsea for the fullback. We're interested in plotting a 60 million deal for the Austrian defender, I was this close to saying Swiss, I was trying to remember as well. But we're this close to putting a 60 million deal, but 
Bayern, Bayern Munich head coach has just completely washed that away. He said it's not happening. He's not for sale. And I think the January transfer window as well, you're pushing, you're really pushing to try and get quality players in this sort of window because it's only one month and it's midway through the season as well. Anyone who's selling their best players is selling them for either some bumped price or they ain't got a clue what they're doing. David Alaba's Chelsea is very unlikely. I'd like to say it's happening. But I think for so far, I don't think it's happening. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know who you think we should be going for in the January transfer window. Let me know your thoughts of any of these rumours, whether you'd like to see Cavani, whether you'd like to see Chalov, whether you'd like to see Alaba at Chelsea. Let me know. Let me know what replacements you'd like to see as well. Leave it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Blues Fans TV. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button as well. See you soon. Click the notification button and the subscribe button to help us get to 100k. We're so nearly there.